I'm Dr. Rashmi Matai, Specialist Physician at Universal Hospital, Abu Dhabi, and today I'd like to talk about the thyroid. Now, there are a few conditions that affect the thyroid gland, the first being when the thyroid doesn't work as efficiently as it should, and then it's called hypothyroidism. Whereas when there is an overactive thyroid gland, it is called hyperthyroidism. There are a lot of people in the Middle East who have hypothyroidism, but they don't even know it. So how can you understand if your thyroid is underactive or functioning less than normal? The most obvious symptom is fatigue and low energy levels throughout the day, a level of enthusiasm much lesser than what you would normally expect. Another important symptom is depression. Also, if you're gaining weight in spite of being on a diet and following a regular exercise, then you need to check your thyroid function. Constipation, cold intolerance and dry skin are the other symptoms. Hair fall is also another major issue, especially among women, but fortunately it's reversible with treatment. So if you have a number of these symptoms in combination, there is a chance that you're having hypothyroidism. On the contrary, if you have hyperthyroidism, you might have symptoms like fatigue and muscle weakness, mood swings and anger outbursts, anxiety, palpitations and an increased or an irregular heart rate, sleeplessness, weight loss in spite of having an increased appetite, heat intolerance, profuse sweating. So how do we diagnose these conditions? It's usually with a number of blood tests, which include TSH, FT3 and FT4. Now TSH stands for thyroid stimulating hormone. This hormone is released by the pituitary gland or the master gland, which sends a signal to the thyroid to start synthesizing the thyroid hormones. So if the TSH is high, then it is likely that you are hypothyroid. It may be confirmed with a low free T3 and free T4. And in hyperthyroidism, that is an overfunctioning thyroid gland, the TSH will be low and the FT3 and FT4 will be elevated. Now, why does hypothyroidism occur? Hypothyroidism can result from iodine deficiency. Iodine is extremely essential for the synthesis of thyroid hormones. Some of the foodstuffs which are extremely rich in iodine include sea vegetables like kelp, cranberries, strawberries, organic yogurt and organic navy beans. Another important cause is a condition called Hashimoto's thyroiditis where the immune cells mistakenly attack the cells of the thyroid tissue causing the inflammation and enlargement of the thyroid gland resulting in a goiter. And how can we treat hypothyroidism and its symptoms? It's extremely simple by supplementing thyroxin in the form of tablets which should be taken on an empty stomach as soon as you wake up in the morning. Also, remember to avoid eating large amounts of broccoli, cauliflower, cabbage and soy. In case you have hyperthyroidism, your physician might prescribe antithyroid drugs which would reduce your thyroid hormone levels, namely carbimazole or propylthiouracil. Now, what are the indications for a thyroid surgery? In case of a thyroid nodule, your physician might advise you to undergo an FNAB, which is a fine needle aspiration biopsy of the thyroid, which involves taking a small amount of thyroid tissue for microscopic examination to understand what the exact problem is. The second indication for a thyroid surgery could be for a toxic thyroid nodule, where a nodule is producing too much of thyroid hormone. Also, if you have a multinodular goiter, that is an enlarged thyroid gland with many nodules, especially if there is compression of nearby structures causing difficulty in breathing or difficulty in swallowing or a recent hoarseness or a change in voice. The fourth indication could be in hyperthyroidism due to Graves' disease, which causes exophthalmos, and lastly, in thyroid cancer. So if you think you might be having a thyroid issue, do consult your physician and we'll help you out. You can also visit our website www.universalhospitals.com and book an appointment with your physician. Have a nice day.